Hello everyone and welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, and I just came back from handing in the adventure quests, got my adventure maritime uh, bundle, opened it up, and I got the new memento ship for the advanced graduation exam. Uh, I cannot use it yet because I do not have a high enough adventure level. I'm getting there, but all the uh, higher advanced level quests will give you a level 21 ship for each of the particular groups. So this one's level 21, this one will be level 21, this one will be level 21. And it looks like I won't be getting to them just quite yet, but it's best to unlock them. Again, if you want to just grind these quests for those levels, be my guest, that is a good way to do it. Um, by the way, I did accept the next quest. Um, here is a final exam quest right here. Uh, like I had said earlier, it would be getting Woad from Ragusa, and as, as well as getting two sewing sets, which we can buy right here. So thankfully, I went and bought Woad. I had only 17 or so woad, so luckily there was a guy sitting here that was selling them that I went and bought. He did us a solid by having some. And then this guy here, he has uh, the sewing kits you need, and there they are. I bought two of them already. They're in there somewhere. Hey, there they are. So we're good to go. We have everything we need. Um, that we can do to get started. I'm going to go ahead and sell these right now. I don't need them. So yeah, we are already set and ready to go. Let's get on the road. So the quest says I have to deliver these things to Antwerp in 120 days. And that's simple. I mean, it's the shopkeeper and the craftsman in Antwerp. And that's a really rather short trip. Um, it's not very long at all, but you know, you stock up for it and go for it. And I auto sail it to Antwerp. And that's it. That's the entire quest, guys. <laughs> Seriously, like, honestly, that if I hadn't done that earlier. Where I was stopping at Ragusa, or this wasn't the guy in Sagers to do the quest, I would have had to go all the way to Ragusa, let's say all the way back to Antwerp, and then get the sewing sets, or it's all the way back to Sagers, get the sewing sets, go from the Sagers all the way to Antwerp. I just saved myself half the trouble. And that's another of the reasons why I suggested doing the adventure exam first, is because it immediately puts you right where you need to be in order to get the quest done. You will save so much time not having to sail back there a second time to go get what you need. If you find that you needed more woad, like I did, you know, then you hopefully can find someone selling it in Sagers. If not, you'll have had to sell back and get it again. Buy at least 20 of the woad in Ragusa. If you can't buy 20 in one trip, go to another town, come back to it, buy some more. Um, before I could even get this quest to populate, though, I had to do a few quests that had me sail to London and to Plymouth. Um, and that was a bit of a grind because they said to buy 20 two-handed swords and I can only buy like five two-handed swords at a time So I had to travel back and forth back and forth back and forth between Plymouth and Le Havre over and over and over again Just to get enough Two-handed swords I needed 30 from Plymouth So I had to go back and forth like 20 times just to get enough It felt like so that I can finally sail back by the time I handed it in I got a lot of good stuff. I got some high level uh, uh, experience counters, uh, experience points, and then I also got a merchant's guild card, which I will save um, for when I want to switch to another job at some point. So, we have saved countless trouble. Lots and lots of trouble by doing what we did. Oh look, we got a we got a dolphin. This pretty much protects us, I believe. It's like a miniature protection from stuff. What else could I talk about on this trip? I have my woad. Just enough. Hopefully I don't have a fire. Always buy more than you need. That way if something bad does happen, you have a way of getting by. Because I have done that. Not bought enough. Had a fire. Lose some stuff. 
That could still even happen on this trip. And next will be the maritime quest. That one's the one I dread the most because as much as I, you know, don't mind doing these quests and they, they get you a lot of experience, the battle grind is my least favorite. Um, some people love it. My issue, I think, is just that combat is just really slow early on. You know, it's just one of those things that you have to learn to love, I guess, to some degree. What else could we talk about here? So, we're getting close to level 20. And so, I think it's about time we start really focusing on what um, aids we are going to want. Now, if I'm really going to focus cooking, let's see, if I'm really going to focus cooking, and all these skills, I would want something that complements these skills as much as possible. Or, I can get aids in which they don't necessarily complement these skills and add to them, but get skills from aids that I don't have and that's kind of a weird thing like this they don't come with these skills like if you have the skills then she, they usually boost these like on uh, my other character I have I believe her name is Erida or Claudia I can't remember but there are foods trading and livestock trading and spice trading kind of lady and they boost those particular stats for me when I use them you know as my aids so I don't I don't know if I'm gonna do that I may choose an adventure one because I'm, I'm really actually enjoying adventure lately so I might choose a uh, geography based aid that I see that's tough I don't know it's one of those things where you could choose to go with something and be wrong or choose to go with something and you know be fine with it so I was not sure yeah, it's always up in the air. Got a lot of messages. Well, it is Christmas. I might try something completely different with this character. I mean, I am doing some food grind. I might just, you know, do the basic food grind and get an, an aid that does food. Even though I already kind of do with my other characters, it would be kind of like overkill to do it all again. Again, like I said, it's something I truly understand. I think that's what I'll do. Oh, wonderful. I managed to stop that before my woad got eaten up. Rats are the worst. If I do that, then I'll probably get a lot of bonus. It's the stuff that I already get. I, I might just do it if... I, I kind of just have to look at what the aids are out there. Go to the website, go, like, just go to Google, type in UWO AIDS, and you'll get a list of AIDS in which that are out there that you can get at taverns that you could pick up. And the ones that, you know, you pick up will have these bonuses to these other skills. I may choose ones in which that are, um, maybe this character will be my textile trading one. Uh, even though I've already started doing textile trading with another character. Maybe I'll focus textile trading with this character. That way it's completely separate. Or, you know what? This might be a shipbuilding one. It's because I've never done shipbuilding. Where is shipbuilding? I have no idea where shipbuilding even is because that goes to show you I don't even do it. Mm-hmm. 
Hmm. Where is shipbuilding? The cat's throwing up. Man. Be right back. deal was. It was just hacking for whatever reason. <sighs> Jeez, I can't focus on this quest. Anyways, where is shipbuilding? Shipbuilding. You know it's here. It's like one Escape, mineral trading, crafting, art trading, weapons trading, merchandise. There it is. It's weird that it's underneath a battle skill, but in order to get it, I need to get to Tunis, Istanbul, or Calicut, which Tunis I could probably get to. I just need to discover it first. Um. And I need to have repair level three, so that's a grind that it, you know isn't hard to do. Essentially, it's just take as much damage as possible in battle, and, and keep using the repair skill. That's what we'll do. I know nothing about shipbuilding, but maybe that's what Gonzo becomes. I'll be doing some cooking, so I might still pick up a a, a cooking aid, um, just because I know she'll boost our ability to make some the grind a little easier. Just some, so I can show you how to do it. Um, but she won't become my focus of to use will probably you know and with that being said maybe I won't pick up her uh, Claudia or whoever the cooking aids are I'll probably pick up something that's good for shipbuilding um, specifically there's got to be something other so just google it on the internet you'll find something in which that uh, you know will benefit uh, shipbuilding or whatever skill set that you're looking to go for Almost there. Oh no. Man, these rats are just unrelenting. But I keep narrowly escaping the problem. Jeez, sounds like Tom on Discord. Because he does not send one message just to send a one message with all the information in it. He sends six messages. All broken up into smaller ones. Yep. Yep. It's freaking annoying. <sighs> Couldn't get this quest over with fast enough. Alright, so anyways, just so you guys can see, I uh, will go to the uh, different people I have to for this. I believe I need to go to the... Let's see, the shopkeeper and the craftsman. So the shopkeeper is right there. Hand him what we need. To be able to speak to him. And then the craftsman, which is right around the corner. And right there. And we're done. And that should all be you need to do um, to do that quest. Because now the quest should say complete. Just need to get back. And it says to do it 120 days, but it goes by relatively quickly. So I'm not going to show you the hand in. Um, I'm going to see if I can do a hand in at the tavern. Oh my gosh. Stop with the sound, Tom. Oh my god. Get this over with. Alright. 
me. There's no, there's nobody in here I can speak to. So there's not always a barmaid. It's in the major cities where there's barmaids, not always in these towns. So with that being said, now you know how to do the the quest there. It's saved pretty much half of the trouble of it, and all you need to do is just get back to hand it in. Hopefully that was helpful to you on the uh, intermediate, on the actually the advanced trade exam. And if there's any other questions, you guys leave comments and please like the video and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take it easy.